Brain plasticity um, in learning is a phenomenon that um, allows cortical maps, and that is the maps, the neuron maps in the brain to change, basically. If we think metaphorically of a town that grows, it grows because different sections are annexed at different times so that the size of the town then grows into a city with many, many different parts as opposed to just a town. So we're looking at the complexity and the expansion of the town growth. Okay, so when we are talking about plasticity, we're talking the same thing, but now happening in the cortical maps, and this is the brain neurons. So as we learn, more neurons are annexed to create a more expansive and complex cluster, and what this represents is the knowledge that we hold about a particular subject. The more complex the neurons become, then it represents a greater complexity of knowledge that we hold about a certain subject. If then we are learning something new, say in history, and we already know I know something about history and I'm learning more about it, what the brain is doing at the time I'm learning is learning associatively. That means that as I'm listening to someone talk about some historical period, my brain is actually doing a scan, and the hippocampus is the part that plays the big role. And this is the switchboard. It is activating all of my present knowledge from the hippocampus itself and all the storage areas in the cortex. So I'm thinking about everything I know as I'm listening to new information, and I'm putting it together. And when the brain does this, not automatically, um, it may happen over a rest period, and sleep is one of the major, major um, opportunities for consolidation to take place. And what this means is, what I've learned, I'm taking and integrating, and my brain is simply, with my, without my knowing it, organizing all of this so the meaning that I'm attaching to this is not just what I knew, but now the new information. And this is consolidation. And if we think about consolidation of two companies, it's two companies merge and the new building and the new configuration looks totally new. And this is exactly what the brain does. And it does it over time. This is, this is part of the major function of plasticity. And so if we learn by associating new with old and then scaffolding that information, and as educators, scaffolding then becomes really critical because the brain is going to need all of the prerequisites in order to connect with the new material. Um, and the, the instructor then provides those gaps that might need to be filled in.